Hello and welcome to this session. Now this session is one of the important in this entire course analog to digital converters and pulse width modulations. As the name suggests, analog to digital converter will convert any analog signal, any analog signal voltage into a digital form which a microcontroller, in fact the microprocessor can understand. So microprocessor is completely digital device as you know but the microcontroller has a separate peripheral analog to digital converter which does this operation. You might ask me why we need ADCs, right? Uh, just now we discussed all the signals, even the sensors, real world sensors, the audio signal, the video signal, they all are in analog nature. I'm speaking through this microphone and the diaphragm vibrates depending upon my modulation, voice modulation and intensity that produces a small uh, milli or micro volts change which gets amplified using a pre-amplifier and then fed to a digital device after conversion converting using analog to digital converter so all this is possible using adc so adcs are, are widely used and they are very important you can see here we have uh, this application audacity which shows you an audio signal which is continuous and uh, varies with time so the if you consider this x-axis as a time scale and y-axis as voltage you can see it varies uh, depending upon the signal intensity so I have an, a small illustration which shows how this analog to digital conversion works in Arduino in fact this is true for uh, any microcontroller but Arduino is what we are learning now so on the left side you can see we have analog voltage and on the right side we have uh, digital output so this digital output is actually digital output to the micro processor it, this is not the digital output coming at from any of the pins okay so this is the internal conversion here you can see we have vmax or vref as 5 volts what is so what is vmax or vref so it's a maximum uh, input analog voltage which the micro microprocessors sorry microcontrollers ADC can work so let's say this ADC only let's not say about microcontroller so our ADC which is fitted inside this at mega 328 IC can maximum take 5 volts if if you want to change this 5 volts you can change using VREF pin which is there on the micro uh, which is there on the board so let me show you the VREF pin here we are analog reference ARF okay so this pin is uh, useful to set your analog reference voltage okay so let's get back into our diagram and here we have V min is 0 volt so minimum voltage uh, ADC can take is 0 volt so this is an important function the only function which reads the analog is analog read you know the four magic functions digital read digital write analog read and analog write so analog read is ADC and analog write is DAC which is our PWM okay so here for example so this is a scale from 0 to 5 volts suppose we have a signal of 0 volt which will correspond to a digital value of 0 okay and before we actually uh, say it's a digital value you must know what is uh, 10 bit ADC so 10 bit ADC is nothing but the resolution so more the number of bits is the better the analog to digital conversion you may ask me how the reason is the number of samples you get for that particular voltage suppose we have here 0 to 5 volts and this 0 to 5 volt is converted into digital with only 0 to 1023 samples okay so for for example there is a minute change from 2.5 volts to 2.5001 volts okay that is some micro volt change and that change might not be recorded using 0 to 1023 scale because 
the minimum voltage which it can understand is 4.9 millivolts. How we found it? It's Vmax which is 5 volts divided by 1024. Why 1024? Because 0 to 1023 is 1024. So this is the resolution. Okay, so minimum voltage which minimum voltage change which our ADC can understand. And this is very important because for good audio processing or for high quality video signal or uh, audio signal you need this resolution to be very good very good means the minimum voltage to be read should be better than 4.9 millivolts of course and 10 bit ADCs are good for microcontrollers use because for in the in case of Arduino we mostly deal with uh, sensors and low resolution data not with high end audio or video signals okay so 10 bit resolution is what we have with our arduino so th in this example let's see we have this analog read function what it takes it takes analog voltage uh, let me show you here we have here pins a0 to a5 as analog inputs suppose i connect a potentiometer or a sensor here LM35 for example temperature sensor to A0 what it does I write a program here which says analog read within bracket A0 so this is this program so this is this program analog read A0 okay so A0 is the one of the analog input pins and suppose my temperature sensor reading gives 2.5 volts as input okay so in the digital scale you can easily understand it will give 512 because 2.5 is exactly half of 0 to 5 and 512 is half of 0 to 1 0 to 3 okay so it returns an integer value of 512 so what is 512 512 is um, the digital equivalent of the analog signal correct and this 512 um, our microprocessor will understand our uh, processor inside the microcontroller will understand and it will process accordingly so this 512 is now completely a digital value of course this 512 you can see as an integer now but when, when you convert this integer the microprocessor will get it in binary only okay so it's a 10 bit so in the 10 bit we will represent 512 so it might be 1001 0, 0, 1, something like that okay the next important thing after resolution is how many samples um, a microcontroller read, an ADC can read. So in our case, this Arduino can read 10,000 times per second. So it can read 10,000 times the analog signal per second, which means a very good resolution. Not resolution, very good um, output you will get using such a fast read operation so every uh, so this 10,000 samples each of the samples will be having a different analog voltage so for, a, for example you have an audio signal which is uh, or you have a sensor data which is very fast changing okay so that any any fast changing sensor data can be read using this ADC because it reads 10,000 times per second and each each time it reads it does the same operation it does the it takes the analog value and it converts into digital okay and I, I'm sure it has some algorithms which which gives the smoothing and the final output it doesn't change 10,000 times per second that's for sure okay so I hope you understood analog to digital converter conversion and this example also and the actual example we will see in our next uh, video so let's move into PWM which is pulse width modulation so these are again another illustration modified from the original Arduino tutorial and here you can see we have duty cycles 
okay so what is a duty cycle so duty cycle is um, amount of on time for a signal first of all what is a pulse width modulation so pwm is a is a way of getting analog signals from a digital inputs right and how we are achieving it how we are getting it's a using changing the pulse of on time and off time for example this is a very good illustration what it shows a pwm frequency is having having a 500 hertz means uh, it gives 500 pwm outputs per second and unlike adc pwm is an 8 bit output so if you get a 10 bit resolution in the input but the output you can get only 8 bit so how does it work so this example is uh, what we have chosen let's see and suppose we have this analog write 0 so this clearly says that uh, write a 0 volts to uh, output right so that means a 0% duty cycle so when you convert this 500 hertz into a time period you get 2 millisecond so each uh, cycle each on and off period is a 2 millisecond wide so when we say analog 0 in a digital scale 0 and 5 volts 0 and 5 volts we get 0 continuously so this black thick line is off that means suppose you connect an LED to this analog right that LED will be completely off next comes is the 25% duty cycle so what is this 25% duty cycle so any when we say duty cycle it means amount of on time for the signal so 25% time of this 2 millisecond will be the on period so this is our on period and the rest 75% time the signal will be off so the mixed output see this this is happening at 500 Hertz means it's very fast so in each second we are getting such 500 samples and when it happens so fast and the our signals sorry our devices the analog devices connected or any devices connected to the output they cannot find any big difference between voltage they, they cannot see this frequency right they all they see is an average voltage so what is the average voltage so the average voltage will be something corresponding to digital value 64 right so 0 to 5 in which only 25 percent time is the on time so you can easily understand so 0 to 5 and 75 percent is off time means the voltage will be somewhere near to 0 because most of the time the signal is off okay so next comes the 50 percent duty cycle as this is an 8-bit uh, pulse width modulation 8-bit output so 50 percent is 127 because 100 percent will be 255 2 raised to power 8 is 256 0 to 255 and 127 is half of it so when we say analog write 127 so this 127 corresponds to 50 percent duty cycle so as we have seen here in our previous diagram in our analog digital conversion 2.5 was 50 percent and it corresponds to 512 because of 10 bit resolution right for an 8 bit resolution this will correspond to 50 percent duty cycle so 50 percent duty cycle means 50 percent time on and 50 percent time off so now you can easily understand <coughs> what voltage it will give it will give 2.5 volts in the average because this <coughs> switching happens very fast so 5 volts and 0 volts 5 0 5 0 500 times per second and when a device connected to the output see cannot see this 500 uh, times per second what it sees is an average of 5 volts and 0 volts 5 volts and 0 volts which is approximately 2.5 volts for the input device <coughs> so that is the 50 percent duty cycle the 75 percent duty cycle i'm sure you can easily understand so most of the time it's on and 25 percent time it's off in each cycle which will give something uh, more closer to about 2.5 volts right and when we say 100 percent duty cycle 
it will be 5 volts all over the period. Mm, that's all with the pulse width modulation. I hope you you have understood the concept of pulse width modulation. If not, you can discuss in forums. Both analog to digital converter and pulse width modulation have many other techniques to implement. And also they are a bit complex than this. But this is the easiest way you can understand and you should care about up only this much for at least for analog signals. At least, sorry, at least for Arduino sessions where we need not to deal with complex analog signals. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in next video.